Ah, since Spain reports that Vinicius Jr. has extended his deal with Real Madrid until 2027. Gab, this was important. Yeah, so it's important in some ways, not so important in other ways in the sense that um, I think his previous deal was 2025. So you can make the point. Oh, still time, what yeah. if he works his thing down and then he goes... I, I can't. I, I just couldn't see Vinicius Jr. deciding. Oh, look! I'm going to go to Paris Saint Germain or whatever. Yeah, right? definitely. Uh, so I think he was always going to extend. It was a question of time. It's important that he feels rewarded. By the way, I say this all the time. Caveat: When people say like, "Oh, look, he has a one billion euro lease release clause," like yeah. just go and laugh at them. All, almost every contract in Spain has a release yeah, clause. It doesn't mean anything. One. A billion euros. Who cares? But Real Madrid aren't done. They're reportedly close to locking up 18-year-old Turkish prodigy Arda Guler from Fenerbahce. I, I have only, I've never seen him in the flesh. I have only seen him on YouTube. Uh, in two dimensions, he looks pretty special. He looks very special, Gab. That left foot is, is incredible, really, really lethal. He, he's not ready yet, but like Vinicius wasn't ready or Rodrigo wasn't really ready when like they moved. Hendrik isn't ready. Uh, Hendrik isn't ready, exactly. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing talent that other clubs like Barcelona, for example, were really keen on signing as well. So I think well done because it's actually like a decent fee. I think it's 20 million euros. Uh, 20 million that, yeah. euros because he had a release clause. Yeah. I think there's, there's some bonuses involved, a bit over the release clause. And you know, it's in still, these situations, whoever's doing the deal gets a massive commission. True, true. But still, from it's still, given the hype, it, it's, yeah, it's a great yeah, exactly. price. Yeah, um, I what, what I would, what you know, what he reminded me of. I mean, people comparing to Messi, I, I think it's a different body type than Messi. He reminded me. If you, there's videos of a very, very young Jao Felix at uh, Sporting, uh, which are on on YouTube, like when he was like 16, 17 years old. I see more of the parallel there. Before you went to Benfica, even. So yeah. Oh, Benfica. You no, Benfica. Or, maybe sorry, yeah, yeah. maybe sorry, sorry, Benfica. I meant like before I went to Atleti. Anyway, I think before maybe using maybe from like the youth team, like that. I, I kind of saw a bit of that. Hopefully, things turn out better for him. Than oh, for, yeah, but, let's hope. But yeah, amazing talents. So. Do you think he's gonna get playing time? Because if they end up not signing a center forward, which I'm assuming they're gonna sign Killian, yeah, um, to play somewhere. Yeah, but. If they don't, you could play Rodrigo centrally, Vinicius on the left, and and Guler and on the right. And sort of some Guler, Valverde. Alternate yeah, but I think the, the the good thing with Guler is that you can play him again. He can play as a ten behind a striker. He can play a bit deeper, I think, because technically he's so so gifted, right. and he can play on the right as an in inverted winger coming inside onto his left foot, which I think would work really really well. And you just imagine the combination between him, Rodrigo, Vinicius. Plus the midfielder that you will have behind, whether that's Bellingham, Chouamini, Gamavinga, yeah. Cruz, Modric. I mean, it's just it's just crazy. They just add another weapon to it. And my understanding is Mariano Diaz hasn't signed with other clubs, so they could always bring him. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding, Real Madrid fans. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.